So like Tony mentioned, I'm here to talk about software interoperability between some systems that uh, ALS has developed for our clients and the acquired gym suite. So I just want to talk a little bit about our uh, programs that are available to the public. We call them WebTrieve and CoreViewer. CoreViewer is basically a piece of WebTrieve. So ALS WebTrieve is basically our, our online results delivery system. We developed this in 2004, and it's been online since 2005. Um, it serves a lot of purposes. It's basically an entire portal towards all the lab data that is stored about client samples. So we have a sort of dashboard that gives a work order status and you know, lets you know exactly where in the process of analysis that your samples are. Um, it also has all historical results online back to 2001. Uh, and it can be downloaded you know, based on client code and your access to this um, data uh, and security. There's also um, all the QC data, all of our lab generated internal QC data that we record and, and report as a matter of course is available to view and there's actually a number of interactive tools that you can use to create graphs and kind of look graphically at all of this um, data going back along with your work. And we also have some reports on metrics that are possible to access like sample turnaround, um, sample flow, you know, how, how much during the year are your sites, um, uh, how many samples are they submitting, you know, the kinds of methods being used at various sites throughout a global corporation. And you can generate some interesting reports and graphs based on that as well. So it's quite, it's quite extensive in what you can do with it in terms of lab data. But in addition to having you know, logging into the website and using it directly via the website, um, we have developed you know, a number of tools for other software providers like Acquire, for example, to access this data and be able to use it um, within their own applications. So I don't, so in terms of WebTrieve, um, there's work in development right now between ALS and Acquire where um, this work order status dashboard, you know, the where in the analytical sequence your samples are, how many, how long has it been, and so on, will be visible from right inside Acquire based on sample ID. So it'll be linked in. You won't have to actually exit Acquire. You won't have to pick up the phone <laughs> to find out what your samples are doing. Um, you'll be able to see it right in sort of a heads-up display through Acquire Neo. So that's still um, in development. It'll be, I think we're a aiming for July. So I don't have an example of it right now, but it's uh, coming very soon. So this is what... Um, ALS WebTrieve looks like. This is basically the work order status dashboard. And you can see it has um, a huge amount of information visible right away. Um, you can see number of samples, the type of samples, soil versus drill core and so on. Um, and the demo project, is it active? Has there been a change since the last time you looked? And so on. So all, this kind of information is what you'll be able to see right inside Acquire Neo um, coming up. So as part of WebTrieve, ALS has also developed um, what we call Core Viewer. So it is basically a core photo archive system and also a way to visualize uh, downhole information, such as geochemistry, of course, because that's what we have, but also a number of other types of data that are related downhole to um, core photos or, or, or C-chip tray photos and so on. Um, you know, ALS went in this direction we uh, decided to go the route of hosting these image files because we really, as a lab company, we're experts in um, data storage. You know, I say we have results online since back to 2001, but in fact, we have um, lab results going back to the 1960s still, you know, stored in our uh, facilities. So we're, we're no strangers to secure perpetual storage of very important information like core photos. And it's really a market that's kind of underserved right now. Um, lots of core box photos sit on a hard drive somewhere. There may not be redundancy um, at an organization. And it's, it's definitely a, a point of risk that you could lose this archive when the samples are long gone. And because we have all of the sensitive lab data that we have with multiple redundancies and you know, instant failover access and all of that sort of data management aspect that we have to do with our lab data, we can also do with core photos. So we developed this application to be able to visualize them. And really, it serves, it serves three purposes. So the first is that it's this online archive. And it's secure. Um, 
there's multiple layers of security for user access. It's very um, granular in how the access to photos can be controlled. Um, it's available online, so if you have an internet connection, you can look at it. It's available on any web browser. It works on tablets, on mobile browsing. You can look at it on your phone if you really wanted to. Try and zoom in on a small iPhone screen. And that really enables you to not be on site, not be anywhere in your site, and not have to worry about this file transfer aspect of looking at core photos. You could be at head office and see the photos that were drilled two days ago uh, right now. And you can also load multiple sets of images. So, for example, if you have wet and dry core that you'd normally photograph, we can load both of those to compare. We can load cut and uncut core. Um, if it's been marked up geotechnically, we can do that. If you have um, imaging products from hyperspectral core imaging, for example, that can be displayed against the photos. So you have as many sets of images for one hole as uh, required. So this is all kind of archival stuff that makes it accessible anywhere online. And then it's an easy visualization platform as well. So in addition to just storing the photos, you know, we have a system where we can um, stitch a continuous downhole strip from end to end. And so it, it makes that photo depth registered. So now you can start to graph any kind of uh, geochemical data or geophysical data downhole, any kind of data that is associated with a depth down a hole or to a sample interval, for example, on the hole, it can now be graphed against that uh, core strip. And this is just a sort of side point, but ALS can do this graphing without core images. Um, you can still display the uh, data down hole without the images attached. But since I'm talking about core viewer, I won't go into that too much. So this is an example of what core viewer looks like. We have sort of a thumbnail library. You can see it as um, a dynamic number of columns. If you just want to get you know, sort of the broad overview kind of changes in lithology or breakage down hole, you can look at the entire hole very quickly in order. And then we have the um, high resolution photograph sort of as a an blown out bit. And you can zoom in and out. It's fully touchscreen compatible, so this can all be done on tablets. And you can basically explore your entire hole very quickly and easily, typing in the depth you want to go to and so on. And we have, this is what the continuous core strip looks like. I'm going to try and see. Here we go. Oh, it just doesn't work on the TV. So this strip at the bottom is the entire hole. It's been shortened on the uh, horizontal axis just to, for display purposes. but you can see the entire hole has been stitched together from zero to 600 feet, because this is a hole drilled in the US. And the green parts are missing core, non-recovery, for whatever reason, that's uh, where there was no core available. And then we have the zoomed in version up here, and you can zoom in very, very high up here. Basically, the resolution is just limited by how good quality photo was taken initially. And we have graphed against the hole the results. So I've got visible um, some gold assays on the top. In the middle here, this is interpreted TerraSpec data. So someone has taken TerraSpec readings on uh, sample intervals and interpreted the mineralogy from those. And then we've actually loaded as a histogram type format. So that can be displayed. And then here we have some downhole geophysics. I think this is resistivity. So just to show that any kind of downhole data can be um, displayed against this. And so you as the user, we would do, we would cut the core strip and get that all loaded in. And then as the user, the linking of all of this data from the lab to your hole is done com completely blind to ALS because it's very sensitive data. So there's layers of security involved there where the user does the linking of the assays and ALS has no way of accessing that unless you share it with us, basically. So it's a, a very secure way of kind of having this downhole visualization while keeping uh, sensitive information tightly contained. So that's Core Viewer in a nutshell. And this is what you can access from just going onto the web and uh, using Core Viewer. But the third, and I think maybe one of the most important functions of Core Viewer is that it can enhance other geological software suites that need to work with photographic data. <clears throat> Since you know it's not it's not a trivial thing to be able to distribute 
for photos. There can be many terabytes of information or more than that, you know, and it has to be accessible kind of anywhere. So we did, we developed Core Viewer with, a, you know, a set of tools that um, other software developers could access. And, you know, we've really pursued this um, partnership with Acquire because Acquire has this great strategic vision for where they want to go with data display. And so ALS's strategic vision is very well aligned with that. So it's a natural fit to work together. So to that end, um, ALS and Acquire have developed a core imaging module where gym users who use uh, Acquire Neo, the web-based product, can access relevant photography to holes directly inside Acquire Neo. And so you can, now you have easy access so you can compare your photos to any, all, all the project data you have stored in your um, database. So this is a view of what um, the Acquire Neo view looks like with the Core Viewer box view. So for example, you have you know, your hole traces, you've selected a hole in the map, and it loads up right beside that, the box view for Core Viewer. And you can still manipulate that box view the same way you can in our website. It's, it's the same set of tools, basically. And you can choose which uh, photo set you're looking at. It's showing you wet core right now, but there's also, could be dry core, it could be a mineral map, and so on. And it also incorporates a strip view, which I think is a very exciting function, because now you can start looking at core viewer, um, your core photos in a strip view against your lithology logs, some um, you know interpreted or statistically manipulated geochemistry, like the ranked, I believe this is ranked best uh, gold. So kind of one step beyond what we have captured in our servers. And you can look at the photo, so you can actually have that visual link between what's in the core, what's in that rock, to what has been logged, what has been analyzed, and so on, without having to go to site or getting somebody to email you a bunch of 5 meg photos. So I think it's quite powerful. And because it's in this, um, it's part of a, it's a widget as part of NEO. You can kind of organize whatever view you want, and all of the information available through NEO can be um, paired up against Core Viewer. So this is sort of what the integration looks right now. This is the very step one, basically, and it's not stopping there. We already have lots of ideas of how to kind of take this forward and make it even more useful to the users, to geologists who need to um, access all this information and kind of visually integrate and come to decision-making places in terms of uh, drilling and geological models and so on.